Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something a little bit different for you. We've got seasonal favorites. So that is a variety of items from different categories, clothing, accessories, skincare, makeup, household, you name it. So let's get right into it. The first thing I wanted to mention is the top I am wearing. It's a favorite and you'll see why in a second. So right now I'm wearing the white one and I just have it semi buttoned over like a sports bra wear this thing constantly. It's from Old Navy, super affordable, not to mention Old Navy always has sales going on. But look what I did. I have the black one. I have the really pretty pinkish one and I just got in the yellow one. So I mean, seriously, owning four out of all of the colors, I think I'm only missing one color. That's how good these cotton, just gauzy, beautiful cropped shirts are. And I say cropped kind of loosely. They're really not that short at all. I can actually front tuck them, but I love them so much because they just have a really cute short sleeve, as you can see, and they fit perfectly over just about anything, shorts, jeans, whatever. But again, you can wear it open as well and just have a tank top underneath it and use it as almost like a light jacket for the summer they are perfection. The next clothing item favorite of mine for the season is this black midi dress. It's kind of almost impossible to show you. It is the one that has the little slit in the back. It's open back. I'm just going to have a picture or two up here to show you because it's so much easier than showing black clothing online. This dress, <laughs> I've worn it so many times and I love it because I can wear it when I'm just at the house, walking around with some sandals or whatever and running errands. But I also took it with me on a road trip. I actually wore it in for a three hour car drive. Then we went to like wine country and stopped at a restaurant and I just put on a hat and some cute shoes and I could have easily worn it well into dinner that evening if it hadn't have gotten really cold. So I loved that it was literally one of those dresses that I could do anything and everything in, including a car ride without being uncomfortable and without the dress stretching out. This is from The Loft, and I think they're running something like a 40% off sale as I am filming this, but Loft always has sales, and they sell this same exact dress in a beautiful fuchsia if you really are into color and don't want a black dress. But I thought this one would be fun because I could change it up for the seasons and keep wearing it, but the bright one is just as beautiful. These Sofia Vergara jeans, they kind of have a hippie, style to them and they have this awesome seam that runs all the way down the front and then they also have kind of like a little bit of a bell bottom you guys I love these jeans so much they are so comfortable because they have a little bit more of a stretch to them than the jeans that I normally wear but also every single time I wear these I get a compliment from a complete stranger and you know that doesn't really happen that often <laughs> last clothing item and I Honestly, I don't think I've even featured this. I have meant to do a new to my closet and it just hasn't happened yet. So hopefully that's coming soon. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe for that. But this is a cropped sweatshirt from Lulu Lemon. So I actually purchased this in a size medium large and I I'm talking about this now because even though it I we are, you know, well into the 100 degree mark here, this is still a sweatshirt that I take with me everywhere. It goes on every road trip with me, every weekend trip. Um, it's just one of those things you can throw on in the evenings if you're outside in the backyard or whatever. And I love this kind of quarter zip that it has in all the detail. I love the pockets on it. And it comes in so many different color options. And truly, you know, I know Lululemon is on the pricier side, but I have two sweatshirts primarily that I wear nonstop and they are both from Lululemon. The first one I've had for several years and this one is definitely going to be the same thing. So my only recommendation is make sure you buy a color, if you're going to buy a color, that goes with your wardrobe and a color that you absolutely love or go for a neutral tone because these are going to be an investment piece and I absolutely love these hoodies. Moving into accessories, I love this as a favorite for me, but also it is a favorite of all of yours. This tote bag was so popular. It was uh, almost as popular as the black dress from The Loft. Those were my two most popular, what I call subscriber favorites. It's where the, I get the most clicks from the links because I can see that in my analytics. 
that black dress and this one. So I love that we're tracking and that we're on the same page. This bag, oh my gosh. Um, the pink one is also a favorite and I do still own it and I use it just depending on what color scheme I'm wearing. But this one by far has been just a great piece and I do primarily wear a lot more blacks and grays. And this one has traveled with me already multiple times. Absolutely love this thing from Walmart. So worth the money. You can also find them on sale quite often. And if you haven't seen me talk about it before, I'm just gonna quickly mention, they do come with two separate pieces. They come with this little pouch that's so cute and it has a, it says ring ring and cha-ching on it and it is a full zip pouch that matches and then it also has a clear pouch as well. Next favorite is a much smaller item. It is this little tiny wallet. Now, just to make fun of myself for a second, I definitely graduated to what I call the mom wallet several years ago. And I'm talking the big daddy and I have a full zip on it and it is just jam packed full of stuff. But I got to the point where I thought, why? Why? I mean, most of these things that we do these days don't even require cards anymore. Most of us don't carry a ton of cash or change. This is actually from the Coach Outlet. So this is definitely a little bit different quality than your traditional Coach pieces. If you shop Coach and Coach Outlet, then you definitely see a difference. However, I love this thing. It's so good. What I'm loving about this bag the, or about this little wallet is it has this adorable little kind of, I don't know, carboner kind of thing on it ring. So I can attach this to any of my purses that have that inside little hook. But what I've been doing um, when I don't want to carry my purse, I just grab this and then I'll just use these keys as an example. I actually hook my keys to it. So now I've got my keys and my wallet in one spot. Then I realized you can also attach AirPods to it if you want to, too. So you're not, look at that. I mean, really, I could just grab this if I really needed to in a pinch and have everything I need. I could put a strap on it as well and just carry it. Or I can throw this whole thing in my purse and know that everything is attached and I don't have to dig around for things. So I know I spent a lot of time on this, but I just wanted to let you guys know that these types of wallets are actually a lot more functional than I realized, especially when they have a little hook on them. Last bag, I promise, this purse has been everything to me this season. I've literally used it every day with the exception, no, yeah, with the exception of probably like three days that I have um, had it. It's just incredible. It is wearing so well. Again, I don't baby my items and that's why I do like a good wipeable bag. But this coach purse has been so good that I'm really considering buying a different shade in the same exact purse for like fall winter. But we will see because the Nordstrom anniversary sale is coming up and um, yeah, you know, <laughs> that kind of can get me in trouble. So we'll see. But so far, this purse has been amazing. I love it. And I have used the full crossbody strap on it and walked around with this bag. But it just, it goes with a lot more than I thought it would. And the white really lightens up my outfits. I tend to have a very, very dark wardrobe and capsule wardrobe and even when I'm traveling 90% of the stuff I'm wearing is black or gray so this sort of lightens things up and it reminds me to actually put maybe light colored shoes on or start using light colored accessories and it kind of brings things up for the summer. If you watch my YouTube shorts you know that my blow dryer blew up and I didn't know what to do so I finally kind of just decided to try one of these and I did purchase this at a time when I think it was Ulta was having like a 50% off these things are so worth the money and I was extra worried because as you can see I kind of chopped my hair off and I thought oh man I should have bought this when I had longer hair but not the case this actually is so doable for short hair and my little pro tip is I, I mean I obviously have very lightened hair right now my hair is very thin and light I actually just primarily use this on the low setting and actually on the cool setting and it dries my hair really well in the cool setting kind of doesn't damage it as badly. So I'll go in with the warm, kind of get it mostly dry, and then I go in with the cool setting to finish it all off. 
and it gives me so much volume if I wanted to it would just like go and just puff this up but I mean I just blow dried my hair today I did put a, a big barrel curl through it just to kind of give it a little smoothness for the video but I'm telling you 90% of like this body and this smoothness is from this so such a game changer and I love that it's kind of a two-in-one this name it perfume oil <laughs> it's kind of taking the internet by storm and it's so funny how things kind of just ebb and flow with the internet this is not a new product and um, I think that it's the internet is doing it some injustice and I'll tell you why this actually is one of many scents that are offered by this name it brand this has been around for decades it's really been allowed for a long time you primarily purchased it at places like whole foods now when you go into the like makeup section of whole foods generally you're gonna find this like big box that's kind of like two-story i like to call it and it has i'm talking at least like 20 choices of scents in these perfume oils now of course i have just the kind of really popular amber i believe there's a vanilla musk that everybody is kind of excited about too right now but i really suggest that you go to whole foods if you're interested in this and why i say you need to smell them is because some of these oddly enough i cannot physically smell they i really i think that they smell like nothing but other people love those scents they also have some lovely ones, like if you're into jasmine or myrrh type of scents. I mean, you name it. They've got it. They've got some very floral ones, some very musky ones. This one, though, this one is good. It's a very light, fresh scent. And even though it's called amber, it's not quite as warm and musky as I would think that it would be. But my husband is a huge fan of this um side note it is jojoba oil based so if you have an allergy or you're sensitive to jojoba oil steer clear of this because that's primarily what this is this is the tarte clay play volume 2 palette i believe they call it it was originally launched like five years ago so this is not a new palette but i just discovered it probably about eight months ago and finally decided to spend the money on it a couple months ago i'm so glad i did been around for like five years for a reason first of all this whole thing is a huge beautiful mirror uh, it is like that cardboard feel but um the rest of it is like this it's i think it's a plastic but it looks like rose gold but look at this oh my gosh like neutral heaven so this is a beautiful bronzer a amazing blush that's on the neutral side and then a very highlightery highlight which you can also use on the inner corner and all that um, I do have I believe all three of these on today and I use the central like three pieces for my eye look today and I love it because even though this is a darker brown you can really really go for it if you want to but you, if you use a light fluffy brush you can just really lighten it up and then all of these three sets kind of can work individually as an eye look but then they all mix and match very well so it really just minimizes your makeup packing but then also is such a beautiful everyday palette if you're one of those minimalists at home and you don't you don't know where to start or you don't want all kinds of stuff in your drawer i mean this is going to cover like 80 percent of your face so really worth the look. I really enjoy it. Skincare, vitamin C. All right, I bought a crazy expensive vitamin C from my dermatologist several years ago. Thought it was okay, smelled like hot dogs, um, but then I dropped it and it spilled all over my counter and I was devastated because it was stupid expensive. So I stopped using vitamin C. Then I heard about this and can you believe this is already my second bottle because I dropped yet another bottle. <laughs> I'm starting to think that I'm not supposed to use vitamin C. So I ordered the smaller bottle of this to try it. I absolutely fell in love with it. It is the 20% vitamin C with ferulic acid and vitamin C. But after about two weeks of using it, again, dropped it, broke it. I thought, forget it. So I went to the Timeless website. They actually sell this, um, probably four different size options. So I got the Big Daddy, love this stuff. And it's so much cheaper than the expensive one from the dermatologist. And I feel like it works just as great and it doesn't have the hot dog smell. This brush bag is so good. 
So I purchased the black, of course. You can buy other colors. But what this is, is it's a full zip little makeup brush holder. But I have found that it is so useful, especially for travel and on the go, or if you're like in the dorms or something where you can't really have a permanent spot and you need kind of grab and go all the time, um, or even on your beauty desk or your counter, you can keep your brushes in here. And if you like have to commute or travel a lot, then they're all in one spot and you have it. What you do is you pull it down like this and it sits flat on the counter and it holds all your brushes with this little elastics, but then it also has so much open space in the middle that if you have like a weird brush or other things, especially when you're traveling, you can chuck those in there. I also love to use this at times. I'll stick like my eyebrow pencil, my eyeliners, lip liners, things like that, balance those all in there. And if I really wanted to, I could fit almost a whole makeup look inside here with the brushes and the liners and things. So super functional. I believe I purchased this from Amazon. I'll have the link in the description box below. Again, comes in multiple colors. Along those lines are these adorable silicone beauty blender holders. Now I just featured this about, I don't know, maybe a month ago now on an Amazon travel must haves. Now listen, I have used every single one of those things that I featured in that video and I love them all. So if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave it up here for you. Make sure you watch that after this because they have, there are some gems in that video. This is one of them. I love the color. It does come in other colors. It is a very good size and it fits like your normal dry beauty blender in there perfectly. But obviously if it was wet and like twice the size, it would fit in there just as well. And I love the um, idea of the silicone one because sometimes you can get other holders, but they are solid and they don't move. This one squishes. So this one fits inside here. So I can chuck that in there and then I'll stick maybe like my eyelash curler in there and whatnot. And then if I need to squish it or if this happens to squish, nothing's going to crack. So I absolutely really recommend this. It was an instant favorite and this one is just going to be traveling with me everywhere I go. So this Oh man, okay. <laughs> this three in one charger worked so well for me. I actually took it, we stayed at an Airbnb fairly recently. I laid it out flat next to my bed on the little table. I had my uh, Apple Watch, I had my AirPods, and I had my phone charging all at once, laid out right there next to me. And then, of course, um, as I said in the other video, it does fold up. So if you only need to charge maybe one item or another, then it is kind of more compact and you can use it for that. But really we had the space. So I just left it open. And what was really cool was that when my pieces were done charging, then my family members could just slide off my AirPods and charge theirs or, you know, phone watches, whatever. So it just was constantly in use. And I loved that we had three different options to charge. If you are traveling a lot and you have Apple products, this is definitely something you want to look into. My newest obsession are these new go bars. Now I have just two flavors. I don't know how many they really make. Um, they are, I have dark chocolate pretzel and dark chocolate chocolate chip. I think you can tell I like chocolate. When I say these taste like a candy bar, I am not kidding. And you know, you hear that a lot. People will eat these healthy bars and try to say they taste great or they claim to taste like donuts and they kind of taste like cardboard with like stevia. These are not that. So I really hope you trust me on this. Um, I do eat a lot of disgusting protein bars just for the sake of nutrition. These I thoroughly enjoy eating. And I really, they are so rich and chocolatey and crunchy and salty. I, oh man, I mean, even my family members, which I can never get to eat because this claims to be certified gluten-free and certified vegan. They're like, if it doesn't have milk or cheese or real sugar in it, you know, I don't want it usually kind of people. Well, they love these too. So that says a lot. I actually bought the giant box from Costco. Loved them so much. I'm already on, I think my third box now. Um, but I think you can get them at other places. So I will, if I can find links or other places to shop these, I will put that below. If not, just know that um, at least, you know, my local Costco is carrying them. Hopefully yours will too. Definitely worth it. Um, but again, even though they say certified, you need to read the back because 
certified doesn't seem to mean what people think it means sometimes and so make sure that you are comfortable with the allergen level and the facilities that they make these in if you are um, extremely allergic to something next food item is actually a drink and again i'm thinking travel friendly in a pinch uh living in a dorm you name it these things um i even at your desk at work really i have loved these for years and i had kind of gotten away from them and was drinking something else that had a milk product in it and had to get rid of it so i'm back to these and i forgot how much i love them so these are the via instant uh, Starbucks coffee packets and they come in so many different options and you can purchase them um, I think in many grocery stores, but also in every Starbucks store, they usually have a little display with these. So I guarantee you can find them somewhere near you. Uh, these ones just happen to be the Pike Place Roast. And what they look like when you open it is this. They look like these tiny little slivers of a coffee pot. So what I love about this is that they are a mixture of instant and micro grain coffee. But when you make this, it's not going to be grainy when you drink it. You're not going to have grounds at all. There's nothing you have to do. And I think for an instant coffee this tastes the most like brewed coffee if that makes any sense because you know what I mean I I can drink almost any version of coffee but some instant coffees definitely have that weird flavor this is a lot better along the lines of those coffee packets are these I'm gonna put a uh, picture of the box up here so that you can see what it actually looks like again I found these at Costco but I know they're available in a lot of places these are the crystal light plus caffeine packets. <laughs> so I'm not a soda drinker and you know, sometimes you just need a boost in the afternoon. So these are amazing. Um, I, I got a multi-pack. So this one is wild strawberry. They all, it came with lemonade and a strawberry lemonade and fruit punch flavors. I love them all. I think they're delicious. And Real talk, the fruit punch flavor <laughs> tastes like the fruit punch Kool-Aid. If you grew up in the eighties drinking Kool-Aid, <laughs> So it kind of hits that spot without you feeling guilty of making that like, you know, full cup of sugar powder drink mix. Those were my favorites for this season. Make sure that you let me know in the comments below, what is a new favorite item that you have? I don't care what it is, clothing, food, makeup, you name it, let us know so we can check out new things. And also, if you liked any of these clothing items, then you might wanna watch this video uh, packet up here. It is just a playlist of all of my recent fashion videos, including the hauls where I got this shirt and the other pieces that I showed today. Today, or if you're really interested more in like the techie travel side of things you might want to watch this video that is my latest Amazon travel video and oh it has some good items in it all right thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video I really appreciate it make sure you hit like if you enjoyed this video and you got some use out of it and then subscribe if you can do that I'd appreciate it all right until next time I'll see you soon